Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 13 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it, we will look at our answers together. So we are looking at an equivalent, we need an equivalent fraction, 3 eighths, something equivalent to that, and that we're looking for a percentage, and all of our answers here are percents with uh, two decimal places, may or may not matter. But it's pretty simple, a uh, farmer watered 3 eighths a field, and we need to find a percentage that is equal to that. So how do we change, here's our question, from a fraction to a percent? Well there is a step in between. First we need to change from a fraction to a decimal. And then from a decimal to a percent is pretty simple. So how do we change from a fraction to a decimal? There are two different ways to do it. One way always works and we'll start with that one first and that is simply dividing up. So when we divide up you can always change your fraction into a decimal. So that means you take your denominator, 8 in this case, and we're going to divide that, so that becomes our divisor, into our numerator, which becomes our dividend, 3. So 3 eighths, you make it 8 into 3. And so then we just do our long division like we're used to here. 0 times 8 is 0. We're going to get nothing there, which is fine. We need that decimal right there. Make sure you put it in the dividend and up in the quotient bar. Now we can add as many zeros as we need to. Now we're not going to do remainders. We're just going to keep dividing until we finish what we need to. So that's going to be 3. So that's going to be 24. And that's going to be a remainder of 6. But we don't do remainders, so let's add another 0. 8 goes into 60. We really have to know our multiplication facts and have them down pat. So that's going to be 4. And let's bring that last 0 down. 8, ah, there we go. Finally, it's going to be even. So that's going to be 40. No remainders. So 3 eighths equals 0 0.375, or 375 thousandths. How do we change? from a decimal to a percent, well that's typically easy. You move the decimal two times to the right. If you're going from a percent to a decimal, move it two times to the left, it always moves two times. Just the direction depends. We're just going to go one, we're just going to go two. Now the decimal is going to end up right here, which means we're going to drop that zero up front, and we're going to rewrite it as three 7.5 and then we're going to put a percent right there. So 37 and 5 tenths percent or 37.5 percent is our answer. Now you notice that they give us this. They give us an extra zero. You can always add as many zeros as you want to after a decimal. Doesn't change anything. Just like you can add as many zeros as you want to in front. Still doesn't change anything. So here's our answer B. But you notice how that's really close right there. All we did was move the decimal once rather than twice, and that's how we get our answer D. No clue how to get uh, 3 eighths into a fraction. We'll just put an 8 and a 3. Look at that, an 8 and a 3. That's all they did on C. And then 8 times 3, well, that equals 24. So that's where you get your 24. Now, that's one way to do it. That's kind of the long way. What is another way to change from a fraction to a decimal? Well, you can always change a fraction to a decimal if you can change the denominator into a 10, 100, or 1,000. Now, this is one of these things you might just need to memorize. If you have an eighth as your denominator, you can always multiply by 125. I know it's big, but you can multiply by 125, and that equals 1,000. So. 8 times 125 equals 1,000, which means this is going to be 375 thousandths, which equals 0 0.375, because this is the thousandths place. And then you can just move it two, two times to the right. 